that's a super popular song. Up to uh, a lot of riding, a lot of laps, a lot of working. Um, kind of after the break set in, and you know you you don't really do a whole lot for the first couple of days, obviously, because you've been working so hard. But um, we we just kind of chilled there for a second, like a week, and then uh, got right back to it. Did a lot of outdoor testing stuff like that, uh, just around here. Um, then I just wanted to get back to Supercross. I was like, I don't want to be doing anything else, you know. So. Um, when you find a groove and you feel good, you don't want to lose it. So, um, you know, we took a little bit of time, did some outdoors. Uh, you know, we've been back now for a little while doing Supercross, and I, I feel better than before. I'm, I'm really excited to go to Seattle. Very cool. There's, uh, I mean, this is nothing new, but what, do you, what are your thoughts on the whole weird break situation you guys have with the West Coast? Does that mess up your schedule? Like, you know, you got five weeks off, and then two weeks, you know. Uh, I mean, yeah, it doesn't. I mean, it doesn't really matter what I think of it. You know, you're a lights guy. That's what you got to do. Uh, everybody's got to do it, you know. Everybody that has a groove loses it, or that didn't have one could gain one. So, um, yeah, it's kind of a weird deal, but it doesn't, you know. It, it, everybody's got to deal with it. So, until we get on a 450, and we don't have to worry about it anymore. Yep. And uh, so you, you've been strictly business this season. Have you, you have, were you able to get some fun in over the break at all? Oh, for sure. I always have fun. I, I keep it super light, you know. Like I work really hard and. And when I'm not working really hard, I'm I'm trying to trying to enjoy myself, and keep it light. You know, people that people that in this uh, in this line of work that that kind of keep it light and, and just try to enjoy every step of the way, have long careers. You know, um, some of the guys that just that just burn through it are are over it. You know, so to speak. So I try to have as as much you know in in the meantime, and I don't like to sit there and just focus and think about everything all day long because you know you just you gotta you gotta kind of relax every now and again and and um, just reflect on what you've done. And it, I think if you take a step back, you learn a lot too. Definitely. And uh, it looks like one way we've been seeing you on social media, one way that you relax is uh, playing the guitar. Yeah, for sure. I do, I do a lot of stuff. Like I, um, I yeah, record music quite a bit and jam with Longhorn when we can and all that. But um, I do a lot of stuff. I mean, I like to work on cars and bikes and, you know, I, I, I got a lot of little hobbies that'll take up my time. I, my, the trick is just not doing too much of them. Yeah. And, um, 
Who are you looking forward to racing on the, what, the East Coast? Oh, who am I looking for? Oh, yeah, who, the shootout. Yeah, the shootout. I want to win the championship and then just go sit in the stands. Right on. I have a shootout win, and but they don't really count it on TV, so what's the point? Yeah. And um, <laughs> has I anybody... say I got six wins, I got seven. I don't know what the problem is. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, has anybody surprised you on the East Coast? Have you been watching the races? Uh, Zach surprised me quite a bit. Um, Joey, I knew it'd be good. Um, I think uh, Jordan Smith surprised me a little bit. I mean, he's still kind of the, the, the same dude, but he's got some, some looks, get a little extra speed this year, it looks like. Um, I'm excited to race those guys if, uh, if I have to. <laughs> yeah, right on. So uh, is there a little bit of a, like a, East Coast, West Coast, Team PC rivalry at all? I haven't even seen them since they've been out, you know, like before the season, um, you know, but we're all, we're all cool. There's no problem. Um, I haven't, re there's, there hasn't been any like trash talk like at all, at least not to my knowledge. So <laughs> I, I, I think that we're all both coasts are, you know, good in their own respects and each coast has like, a, you know, good things and bad things about them. But I think when you get to the, the top five guys, either way you look at it, um, that you know, they're solid. You can't you can't really you can't really say oh these guys would be better or these guys would be better. I mean you can see at the race, but the shootout sometimes it doesn't sometimes doesn't quite lend itself to finding out the truth because especially now it's it's a it's a points round and people are just focusing on the championships at hand. So back when I won it in fourteen was uh, I think the last year that it was um, was the last year that it was one of those true um, you know separate. You know the points were done. Now let's see who's the best. And I thought that was super cool. I don't know why they why they decided to combine it like that. But um, you know, I, I almost kind of wish they bring that back, and then we could really see like just it's more of like a you know like a wager deal, like who's who's the baddest guys. Mm -hmm. But now it's now you have to focus on what you're doing. Definitely. And um, so if you win the title, you're gonna have to go to the 450 class. Yep. What are your thoughts on that? Oh, I can't wait. Love big bikes. I always have. I, I when I was 14, I got off of an 85 and rode around on like some two strokes for a little while, and then we got a hold of some bikes. And first bike I got a hold of was a 450. And I just I got on it. I'm like, this is the bike. This is the bike for me. I don't <clears throat> I don't rev a lot, you know, and which you have to in the 250s. And I've had to learn how to ride the 250. I think that's why it's taking me a little bit of time. But um, when I get on the 450, it doesn't even matter for play riding or what we're doing. I just get on it, and I'm like. This is what I, I can't wait to be on one of these. It just makes my life easier. Uh, just lends itself, you know, to my style, I think. Definitely. And uh, you had expressed, you know, a little bit of interest in maybe even doing some East Coast rounds on the 450 if you're able. Did Mitch shut you down on that? or? You know, we didn't really even talk about it. I think, you know, when you get in a position, it's always different, you know. Like, so we were in a position right now where we got a points lead. We don't want to, we don't want to go throw it away on something that, is unnecessary, you know, and uh, I, I would love to go ride a 450, but I wasn't going to push super hard for it just because, you know, for that reason, it's like we got something uh, important to take care of. And like you said, I'm all business. Definitely. And um, last question, uh, if you win the championship, what, what's the first thing you're going to buy? First thing I'm going to buy? Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. I mean, I, I'm into muscle cars. I might buy something like that, but I mean, I got quite a few cars that already take up a lot of space in my house, so um, I, I, I really don't know. I might actually, I'm renting out here, so maybe I'll buy a house out here, but then again, I I don't know if I want to be a California homeowner, so I, I you know, we'll think about that. Never? Ever. Ever, never?